What's up guys, this is your boy Gavage Kim Alain Hero here back with another video for Ninja Two Mobile and in this video we are gonna try a very interesting team and with an Azure artifact over here, the Claw of Horus and what we are gonna do is gonna use Batwoman in the round but with Heartbreaker Harley Quinn as a support character and the reason for doing this is Heartbreaker Harley Quinn once the character is stunned, the opponent is stunned, is going to do 300% additional damage and not only herself, or not only herself, but also for the teammates. So the strategy over here is to have Batwoman the Drown constantly stunning the opponent and for that I'm going to use the Azure Artifact. So I don't know whether any of the other YouTubers out there have used Azure Artifact in a solo raid to boost. I don't know whether they're doing it, but uh, here I am, the average gamer 98 over here, trying something different. So, uh, as you can see over here, we have the Claw of Horus on Batman and the Drown and actually, uh, this is something that I thought through as well, that you can additionally do more damage if you equip the God Killer or the, you know, the Crown of Kandak on Batman and the Drown and do the stun with Arkham Knight Batman. That's a feasible option as well, but I just wanted to use this artifact here. As you can see, stun, the opponent is stun, and here you can do the constant stun and technically maintain the stun like uh, throughout, I would say, but I was finding it difficult to do that. Technically, you can do it, but it was a bit difficult to do that. As you can see, only 30% chance to stun. So the better option is to tag Arkham Knight Batman and do the stun while the hazard is active. So that's what I started to do later on. And as you can see over here, tagging in Batwoman the Drowned here and able to do the special, the swipe actually inflicts the stun. So the swipe is inflicting the stun over here. The opponent is stunned and you can see here, the opponent is stunned, 37 million damage guys. That's quite a lot of damage because uh, this is not full all level 10 artifacts and maxed out artifacts. One level 10 is there, but not all are level 10. One is a level eight. Uh, I think it's called the bat ranks. The Joker is bat ranks is at level eight. So that also doesn't give the max attack stat as well. So. A uh, very interesting team, definitely a team to try out to just to have fun. Uh, it's not going to replace your main team, uh, main strategy team, but uh, definitely does quite a bit of damage. And if you equip the God Killer artifact or the Crown of uh, Kandak on Batwoman the Drown, that's going to do some more damage uh, with this particular setup. That's going to do a hell lot of more damage. And the stun here, as you can see, constant stun is now reflecting. And this is a very good thing because. It just eases the gameplay a lot and this is going to be helpful against bosses that cannot be combo interrupted easily so that's it for this video guys an interesting interesting team i thought to try it out and share it with you guys and uh, good old rewards as well pretty great rewards as usual uh, you guys know the drill guys uh, hit the like button hit the subscribe button if you haven't done already and pay respect to the rewards that we all get not only myself but we all get. Thanks for watching this video, guys. Hit the like button and subscribe button if you haven't already. I repeated that. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. Take care. Peace. Why is it not loading yet? Bad. Load up. Okay, final piece. Bye bye.